says, Paul says that he dies every day, as in dying to himself. What does that look like? What does it look like to die to yourself daily? Um, I think it looks like the denial of self, right? We, um, we see in Galatians 2.20 where it says that, you know, I have been crucified with Christ. Right? This life that I live, it's not of my own, right? right? That I have been crucified. My flesh, my sinful desires, the life I lived in the flesh um, has been crucified with Christ. And, and I think that dying to ourselves daily means recognizing that. And, and that those desires that we have, th those sinful desires, the worldly desires, that, that we say no to them, that that old life, whenever it starts to come back up, that we bury it back down and say, no, I'm not living that life. I have a new life in Christ, and that's the one I'm going to live. And so I, I think that that's what he was referring to as far as dying daily. Because often what happens is we tend to say, oh, I'm saved. I once walked down an aisle, said a prayer, and I said, I'm leaving my old life behind. I repented. I confessed. I'm done. Um, but, and then we think that that was a one-time deal, but the fact is that our walk with Christ is daily. And so daily we're having to put aside that old self. Daily we're having to say no to the temptation and the sin and the old life that keeps trying to creep back up. So that would be my answer. Yeah, I, I like what you're talking about coming down the aisle, and that's kind of where I was thinking this idea that, you know, we are a nominal Christian or we're not a Christian, and then we, we make this moment where we say, okay, and now I'm going to follow Jesus. And so at that moment, we're like, okay, well, now I forgive, you know, this person in my past, whether it's a, an ex, a parent, a friend who betrayed you, someone who's like, okay, I forgive them. And we let it go, or we say, okay, now, you know, I'm not going to search for certain things on the Internet. Right, And we do that and think, okay, now I'm good, and we kind of go about our life. But practically, those temptations come up. We, we feel anger boiling back up for those past people who hurt us, and so it's dying to ourselves and forgiving them. Or if we get hurt again by someone else, it's forgiving them as well. It's not saying, well, I've forgiven in the past, so I don't need to do that anymore. It's no, you still have to forgive people. Or um, when the temptation, you see an ad or something pop up on the internet, it's saying, okay, no, I can't look at that. That would be wrong. I'm going to give up the, the selfish desire I have inside of me. I'm going to put that to death, and I'm going to follow Jesus. And it comes in all those different situations with whatever our temptations are, because we all have different temptations or even just laziness or desire to, to relax and do nothing, right? It, it's very easy for people to say, okay, well, Huh. I'm at a point like there's a time and place for rest and vacation. I'm not talking about that, but you know, if, if you're at work or you have a job to do and it just it was a busy day, it's easy to say, well, I'm just going to cut out a little early or um, not do what I'm supposed to because no one will probably notice. And that that's where you know that dying to ourselves and like, no, I'm going to push through and get done when I need to get done, and, and it's a continual, constant, daily thing. I, I love this one because Paul, um, when he writes in Scripture, um, I have found myself to be content. And he writes that passage when he is handcuffed between two guards. And yet he writes a passage that says, I'm okay and I'm in God's will. Versus uh, Jonah, right after a major revival and everybody repents, he becomes the most um, whiny butt preacher you ever see. And yet, everybody repented. So, here you are able to see that in the most desperate, despicable, dire circumstances, you can be happy. So, it's not our environment that controls our attitude. It's our relationship. One last thought I would add on that is the, we don't need to miss the importance of whenever he's talking about leaving behind the old life and following after Jesus, that he's using the imagery of death. And that stresses just how big a deal sin is. 
that, that we tend to blow it off as, oops, I made a mistake, okay, I'll try not to. No, 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 no. It needs to die. That's how bad it is that we tend to think of it as um, something less than that. But I, I think it's something that we shouldn't miss, that he's using the language of death to describe it. And that should tell us something about how important it is um, and how big of a deal sin uh, and temptation in following Christ really is.